Right, hello guys and welcome. Um, as usual, I am Loth from Mr. Loth's Model Making. And um, welcome to this progress video slash build diary. I'm not sure if it's that. Um, but anyway, this is going to be different from my usual videos in that I'm not going to be taping parts of the actual build process on this. Because this is one I want to do uh, without filming. Because filming... I'll be honest, can be a bit uh, tedious at times because progress tends to be slow. You're stopping to film and, you know, taking into consideration what do I want to film, um, redoing parts and stuff like that, and, and the editing, of course, um, which usually takes a full day's uh, work in the weekend. Um, so I decided on doing this. Just a simple, um, fairly simple build. A... Um, plane as you can see and the idea with these videos is I'm going basically going to film short pieces um, whenever I finish a major step in the build process um, I'll probably um, sling in some pictures as well do like a little progress build um, yeah no I will do that so uh, that will be coming up in a second uh, after I'm shown what kit I'm building um, and then after I've shown those pictures, I'll uh, show you the parts as they stand. Um, but anyway, yeah. So um, this is uh, the kit I'm building, basically. Let's see if that's on camera. The Shidenkai no Maki uh, Kawanishi uh, Shidenkai, <laughs> which is actually the name of the real plane. Uh, this is a manga. I'm hoping to God they make it into a um, anime at one point because this is basically girls in Panzer with planes. So it should be pretty awesome uh, if they could make that into uh, an anime. But anyway, Hasegawa, lovely kit, um, limited amount of parts. I'm guessing a little north of a hundred, um, um, and and really really enjoyable, really detailed. Uh, um, but yeah, so I've, I've been building the cockpit, and let's just see, let's, uh, you know what, I'll get my cell phone out, I'll cut out the video, and then I'll just have the sound with the uh, pictures on it. So, uh, let's see, open my gallery on the phone, uh, pictures, filter the pictures, oh wait, oh wait. There we go. Let's see. So yeah, as you can see, uh, started off with the individual um, components of the uh, cockpit pre-assembled those and then started painting um, quasi immediately because it's, it comes down into a uh, separate module um, as you can see uh, for ease of access already picked out details like the uh, seat belt and stuff like that a uh, little close-up of the detailing and the dry brushing i've done on the edges um, in the meanwhile uh, and i'll show you a picture of the current state of it i've done um, some more dry brushing to get the aluminium of the chair out um, the floor again with dry brushing to uh, imitate scuffs uh, on the paintwork you know wear and tear uh, on the right hand side we've got some levers uh, picked up the um, little knobs on the end with um, uh, Vallejo uh, red uh, and then um, bottom left on the bottom right rather on the console um, those are uh, MIG crystal clear colors crystal, crystal clear uh, red and crystal clear uh, clear periscope crystal periscope green yeah that's the one um, I believe um, one of them is with like a tad of yellow under it as well to give it a, like a yellow light color um, and next picture, yeah, this is where uh, you can see some more um, dry brushing on the rib structures, picked out individual cables and stuff like that. 
um, overlighted this with the flash, I know, but it does uh, make the uh, little lights I imitated in the back really pop out. Um, continuing here, looking for another good picture. Uh, let's see, uh, let's do. Yeah, here, one of the engines. So um, the engine is, you only get the front row of cylinders. I believe the Kawanishi engine in this one is a three bank row of cylinders and you only get the first bank plus like half of the second bank of um, cylinders showing. So what I did is, um, and you can clearly see here, uh, the white metal wires, which were a mistake because they're really, really tough uh, to like bend into shape. Um, to do the first bank and then the one the copper wire that loops around is actually going to the second bank that's nestled in between the first bank because that's how they work uh, first bank then second bank is like offset to that so you can and then the other one is offset to that again um, but yeah uh, I did the second bank uh, the spark plug cables because that's what they're meant to be spark plug cables um, I did that uh, with copper wire, which was significantly easier to get into shape, of course. Um, this is how it looks from the front. So you can see uh, adds a fair bit of uh, detail, adds that little extra to the build. Um, and then um, I couldn't resist when I came uh, home for lunch today. And this is more or less getting to where we're at now. Uh, this is when I had done a quick gunk wash. Apologies for the lack of flash, but um, it's already a fair bit darker. It doesn't really come out on these pictures. And this is the engine um, after doing um, a base coat of, uh, and I'll put this on picture as well, a base coat of um, Vallejo metal color steel. And I found that a bit too dark, so then I went over it with a mist coat of Vallejo, and this is important, the difference, a Vallejo model air metallic steel, which is um, more like polished steel, um, uh, rather than the other steel, which is a uh, you know, steel plate that has been lying there for a while. It's not really rusting, it's like, you know, a little layer of, of like grease and stuff like that. But anyway... Um, after that, and now we're getting switching back to normal camera. Here we go. After that, like I said, I literally use my uh, cell phone. Um, yeah, after that, I picked out details on the engine. But before we continue with the engine, which is over here, um, I'll uh, show off this little cockpit. Um, I am actually going to put on the flash. Just oh wait no maybe not necessary. Uh, put the zoom on. There we go. You can see what we've done is um, oh yeah the decal I didn't mention that in the pictures, but basically the decal you get the option of the entire. Let me get a pointy stick because this my hand is way too big in this pointy stick pointy stick. So, let's see, this decal, you get the option of it being one piece, um, or you get the option of this is a separate piece, this is a separate piece, and then this middle raised part is a separate decal, and the one tucked in the corner is a separate decal as well. I went with the separate option, and I'm really, really, really happy with the results. Because, uh, you know, I need to see, I need that to focus, right here, you might discern a knob, which is actually there in the plastic, and the decal is actually nicely conformed to it, here, the decals are nicely conformed to the hollows, uh, well, not perf perfectly flat, but they leave like a concave kind of shape, in which the clear coat has uh, accumulated a bit, leaving a nice um, glass-like uh, feeling to it. I was a bit careless when doing my gun wash, so this got gummed up a bit. But you you won't really know. It'll look nice and shiny from a distance. Um, so yeah, lights again. 
So after the a final clear coat, after the gunk wash, I went with a... Um, I tried to go for a sort of sand finish, which didn't work 100%, well, sufficiently enough. Anyway, um, what, what I basically did is a few drops of, um, let me get the product, of Vallejo uh, acrylic varnish. And a few drops of, um, well, I do have the European Shine uh, pledge uh, here, but I also use the, this which is a bit, um, let's see if I can zoom out again, which is a bit easier to use in my, I've had better results with this honestly, through my airbrush, seems less finicky to lay down a proper layer of, anyway, did that about 50-50 uh, of each, there you go, zoom back in, um, and that's the result that it gave us in the cockpit, it's like shiny enough, uh, in my opinion, but not too shiny. So and I'm really fond of that. Um, this is completely matte because it's worn. Uh, and this isn't completely matte. I think the back here isn't completely matte, but I did do, as you can notice here, clearly. And let me see if I can get a reflection here and here. Let's do some extra dry brushing. The belt, of course, completely matte, but afterwards I went in here on these three points to simulate like the um, metal finish on the buckles. Um, so I went in with a bit of gold uh, Vallejo to uh, make them stand out. Sort of a yellow copper kind of finish to it, to the metal I suppose. Um, also paid attention to this, the trim wheel. The, the trim of the trim wheel, I know, um, in wood, because it would have been a wooden handle going around. Even though it's not really sculpted into the plastic, um, I did try to simulate it, and I think it, it came out pretty well. As you can see, scuffs and uh, dirt on the floor. The dirt was done with uh, Starship Filth. Um, oil brushes first time I used that and then basically what I did is get a tin of uh, get one of my paint tins uh, get some of the um, Abteilung Odorless Thinner which is this stuff um, and you know put in dots of oil everywhere and then just you know spread that around with a uh, brush that was moistened in Odorless Thinner I think it came out really, really nice. Excited with all the light on it shining directly, it comes out a bit too shiny on the thing. And it does have three lights blasting on it, so... Yeah, but I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm fairly happy with it. Um, might dull it down a bit more, I'm not sure. But I'm actually just, I'm actually just going to put it together, really. It's not going to be much light hitting that anyway, it's going to look quite dull. Um, since we're going to be, and this one, this one really shows how it came out, there we go. It's got that dull sheen to it, which is what I wanted. Because it's worn, but it's not completely worn, because this is a high school girl's airplane. She uses it for her sport, which is um, combat to death. I don't, I'm not sure if it's to death, but it's combat with planes. So it'll, it'll be used, but it's not a World War II plane, so yeah. Uh, as you can see. The dirt accumulated nicely in these uh, raised areas here. Very happy with that. Um, on to the engine, the final part of this video. Uh, and this is how the engine came out after I picked out the details. So what I did with the spark plug wire, and this might be more visible if I show it that way. Uh, did those in a um, AK flat black. Same with the uh, valve covers, these uh, long shapes here, um, which came out really, really nicely. Where the spark plug is actually in, try to uh, zoom. There you go. Try to make that black as well. Might look a bit messy. This, especially this, might look a bit messy because I really, really didn't properly denub it. 
and it's going to be mostly hidden anyway. Um, just wanted to give a bit of shine to it, as you can see. Yeah, because that was picked out in steel, so that's why it's a bit brighter than this. Because this ha this is just a mist coating of steel, and this was like zoom again, yeah, a proper brush of uh, steel, Vallejo uh, model air steel. Uh, other detail I picked out is this uh, this bolt that I saw on historical pictures and pictures of uh, survivor planes. Uh, that was painted red. It's some sort of, I'm, I'm guessing, an inspection bolt, maybe to check the compression on, on the cylinders or something like that. But anyway, it needs to be picked out in red, so that's what I did. Picked out in red. Really happy with the result on this. Uh, just need to clear coat it now. Do a, a light, um, I think I'm going to pin wash it and get, uh, get stuff to go into these recesses. Uh, rather than completely gunk it up. Uh, also had to do some scratch building. Confession times. I had to do some scratch building on this because I lost a teeny tiny uh, exhaust uh, pipe. But the scratch build came out nicely enough. Maybe need to sand it uh, smooth a bit more. But yeah, it came out really nice. So that's what, what I've been up to. Um, um, I'm going to be sharing this on the Boom Hut, uh, as always. For those of you who are watching this and don't know about the Boom Hut, um, do check it out. It's a uh, check URL. <laughs> always forget the URLs, I'm really bad at that. And the URL for the Boom Hut is... Uh, let's see, I'll put it up in the thingy below it. No, I'll put it up in the video. It's not a link anymore because YouTube doesn't allow those anymore, but oh well. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be sharing this in the Boom Hut, so um, that's on facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash model Boom Hut. Um, I'll be sharing that there, and please do share on, on like, come in the comments, share what you're up to on YouTube, on, on my Facebook page, or on the post I'm going to share on to the uh, Model Makers Boom Hut. Share what you're up to. I'm curious. Uh, uh, be it a plane, be it a uh, lovely little mech, like my friend over here, or be it a tank. Like, um, yeah, let's not mention the huge project I'm currently taking a <laughs> yeah, week long break off. But uh, yeah, do share. Uh, I'm just curious to see what uh, everybody's up to. So um, but that's it for now. I'll see you guys later. Uh, Take care and keep building. Bye-bye.